chemical engineering. <laughs> what causes celebrities such as Kim Kardashian to go looking from this to this? And what stops firefighters from going in like this and coming out like this? And what causes children to go from utter despair to pure joy and happiness? Well, it's all thanks to chemical engineers. Chemical engineers can be involved in the production of cosmetics, creating fire retardant materials, and in the production of creating new flavors of candy. As a chemical engineer, there are many responsibilities. These responsibilities mainly involve creating a safe work environment and conducting research by testing and monitoring process through production. It is a chemical engineer's job to estimate production costs for management, develop safety procedures for environments with potentially dangerous chemicals, develop processes to separate components of liquids and gases or to generate electrical currents using chemical process. And they also design and plan the layout of equipment all in all, a chemical engineer is quite the genius. Of course, an engineer needs a workspace. And when you think chemical engineer, the term laboratory may come to mind. That is not the only place that they work. A chemical engineer also work in offices, industrial plants, and refineries. Some travel domestically, while others may travel abroad. In order to become a chemical engineer, one must obtain a bachelor's degree from an accredited chemical engineering program. The four-year program includes several chemistry, physics, and calculus courses, as well as general education requirements. For most entry-level jobs, no further education is required. However, some higher-level and management positions require or recommend a chemical engineering license or graduate degree. As of 2012, the average annual salary of a chemical engineer was $94,350. This is an average increase of $20,000 annually from 10 years before. Chemical engineering salaries depend on the field of work, ranging from $58,000 to $154,000 annually. Although the field of chemical engineering is expected to grow 6% between 2010 and 2020, this is below the national total projected growth of the job market. The annual growth of the chemical engineering market is far below the total national job market growth at 4% compared to 11% total. However, pharmaceuticals is the most promising field for new chemical engineers as it is growing the fastest. There are many advancement opportunities for chemical engineers. Although some may require a license or graduate degree, others can be promotions from entry-level jobs. Entry-level engineers are usually supervised by more experienced chemical engineers at the same job. After a certain period of time, those engineers may become independent and able to work on projects without supervision. Eventually, a chemical engineer may be promoted to a supervisor of a larger team of chemical engineers and other engineers working on similar projects. Now, of course, in order to gain these advancements, a chemical engineer would need to have experience in a laboratory and have some experience being supervised, working their way to the top. But what about those who are new to the field of chemical engineering? Well, as Alicia stated earlier, being a chemical engineer requires years of education, so it's no surprise that employers trust that a beginning engineer can handle a job with no previous experience in a formal work environment. However, if a chemical engineer wishes to acquire a license, they must pass certain requirements, such as a relevant work experience. Some requirements, however, are met during college education. These educational requirements include a degree from an engineering program accredited by ABET. ABET stands for Accredited Board of Engineering and Technology. 
And a chemical engineer must also have a passing score on the fundamentals of engineering exam, as well as the professional engineering exam, in order to gain their license. You know, after all this research, I'm thinking about becoming a chemical engineer. I mean, there are so many advantages. Yeah, but you also have to keep in mind that there are a lot of disadvantages to the job. Yeah, but the salary is amazing. I mean, $200,000 a year is worth it to me. Yeah, but that's if you even get a job. And in this market, and with the growth rate of chemical engineering, that doesn't seem very likely. But once you get a job, the job security is amazing. And, I mean, you get the job, you keep it in the stable market. Yeah, but, I mean, four years of school just to maybe have a chance of getting a job? Well, I mean, isn't every high-paying job in this economy hard to get? I guess so, but it seems like it'd be kind of an isolated job. You may end up working in some teams with some people, but there's a lot of time spent alone in labs and offices. But, I mean, I'm making a difference in the world. I mean, I am making women look just as beautiful on the outside as they are on the inside. You're making them look fake. But what about bringing joy to the children through candy? You're making them fat. Okay, you know what? That is not my problem. Childhood obesity is not up to me. Well, we'll let that decide. <laughs>